gamers, Zero here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, Dreamlight Valley from Disney just released yesterday, and I've been playing a ton of it. And there are certain parts in the game that you're probably going to wonder how to do this and that. So I definitely want to make some guides on that. And the first one I'm going to make is how to increase your friendship level. So if you see at the top left of the screen, I have a quest right now called the friendship is everything. And it wants me to reach friendship level five to uh, with three villagers. Now, the reason you want to do this quest is because you actually can't access other parts of the game like the dazzle beach or up here at the sunlit plateau, even if you have enough of like the, the stardust, it's not gonna allow you to do that until you go over here and turn on this totem over here. So to do that, we have to complete this quest. That way we can get this stuff and uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do that really fast. Now, every time you befriend a character, so I have Goofy over here, um, you can actually make him follow you. So let me have him stop following me. I'm gonna go up to him and I can get him to follow me by saying, you know, let's hang out. And as you see on this icon here, I actually selected the gardening skill perk for him. So every time I do some gardening, I want to take him with me because one, it's going to increase his level. And two, it's just going to give me extra items whenever I do harvest and stuff like that. But there is an even faster way. But let's go to start with this. So we're going to hit the let's hang out and we have Goofy following us. Since he is my farming character, I can go ahead and start farming. I haven't created my farm just yet. So I'm going to select a spot. I got a shovel here and uh, let's just start fresh on a new line. And you can actually just hold space down or A on Xbox or whatever you're using. As you see above his head, he's actually getting friendship points right now. So I was about three and a half. And after I finish this row, he's probably, yeah, see, it's going really slow. Obviously, I'll get more if I actually harvest some crops and plant some crops. But the best way to level this like instantly, if you're just in a rush and you want to unlock these other parts, is to gift them stuff. So go to, I have something to give you. And he's going to have different things based on the day. So favorite things of the day. He has the bream, pan seared bass and vegetables and garlic. If you don't have the recipe for the pan seared bass and vegetables, I definitely recommend going with the bream and the garlic. Now, I actually have a bream and it is sad to give him one of these just because they sell for 600 coin. But I'm going to go ahead and give him one now. And look at that. It gave me almost a full bar. So I have him at four already. But if you don't have another bream, you can totally just start gifting him random items, random fish, like anything that's kind of close to the things he wants. It'll give you a higher percentage. So we got him up to level four. It gave me 500 coins. Each character can have, go up to level 10. And then right here at level 10, I'll get his signature hat. So that's going to be cool. If you want to get a bream, you just have to start fishing. You get a fishing rod at the beginning of the game. And you go over here to these fishing holes. And as you see, the fishing holes here are actually white. If you can get a blue circle, there's a blue circle, a white circle, and a gold one. If you can get a blue one, the blue one seems to always have the bream. So every time I swing by the ponds, and there's multiple ponds through here, I will actually just go and get it. And that'll give me a bream, and then I can give it to him. But let's go ahead and give him something else. I'm going to give him a regular fish really quick. Um, I leveled him up, so he's giving me another quest right here. There we go. So I have something to give you. I'm just going to give him a rainbow trout, which only gives me 50 gold. It gave me a little bit of XP, but not a ton. And you can just keep doing this. You can just give him like grass or flowers or whatever. There's no limit on how much you give him. So we'll give him like these white daisies. And see, the white daisy actually gave him quite a bit more than the rainbow trout. So since I have a couple more white daisies, I'm going to go with that and one or two more and i should actually have him to level five and that'll give me my three characters at level five and doing this also levels up your character as well all right let's see if one more will do it oh it's super close we're gonna give him a couple more items uh let's just give him one of these purple falling ones uh right here there we go that pushed me over to five so gifting stuff is definitely the fastest way to raise your friendship if you want to do it passively, you can just have them follow you and whatever you do, they give a, a small amount of XP for yourself and for the character. But if you're like power grinding through this and you want to do that, because there are a lot of friends you can get. So let's go over here to your collections and characters. So there's 17 characters. I don't have hardly any of them unlocked just yet. We're starting off with the Mickey and friends. So I have Goofy, Mickey Mouse, and Scrooge McDuck. Same thing. I got him to level five just by... Uh, doing the same thing, gifting him stuff. 
Mickey Mouse gave him a ton of flowers. It got him to five. Now I moved on to Goofy. And then now I can actually unlock the other parts of the game. So I can go over here to this totem and unlock that. I can put my orb in there and this is gonna power this totem for me and unlock many more parts of the games. So as you see in the background, there was actually another one, but you are gonna have to unlock several different like characters and power grind their friendship up if you want to progress through the game. So the last thing is uh, whenever you go to your characters, like I said, there's many different characters in the game. Goofy, when you click on it, he has like his own little battle pass system like I showed you earlier. So each level up to 10, he's going to get items and you can do that with all these different characters. Uh, Mickey Mouse, uh, click on him. See, you're going to get this like really nice fountain to decorate your base or even your town with. Uh, you get some outfits, some coins and things like that. So it definitely pays off to level these as fast as you can and also to give them a different job. That way, whenever you are doing a job, for for instance, I have for Scrooge McDuck, I actually have him, whenever he follows me, anything I remove like this stuff, just foraging or removing these, it'll actually level him up. And that's what I did with Scrooge McDuck because uh, I started clearing out most of my area whenever he had the gardening skill, like the trait. And uh, yeah, that's about it on how to level up your characters really fast. I find out that gifting them is definitely the best way to do it if you don't want to just have them passively follow you. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys have any questions at all, I will definitely answer them for you in the comment section below. So just let me know. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all in the next one.